because the most important early description of New York Harbor and what was to become the city of New York is in Latin. And that's Johannes de Lett's Novus Orbis, or Descriptio Utriusque Americae, selections of which we've just been reading with our students. It was written in Latin in order to spread the knowledge about the New World through Europe and the educated world of Europe. So many of the, you know, in the 17th century, when the Europeans first came to this part of the world, they would write in Latin because that was the language of scholarly discourse. So that, that's, uh, that's the reason we're reading Latin, and that's why Johann de Lott wrote about, uh, wrote about you know, New York, or New Amsterdam as he knew it, in Latin. What we're doing here is celebrating the continuity of Latin, not merely from the classical period, but up through the Renaissance and in the, into this age of exploration. If you wanted to get the word out, you had to do it in Latin. And so we're honoring that tradition, we're reading the original text with our students, and we're getting in touch with some of the early history of New York City. We're reading a Latin text that talks about a person who came here to New York City and described the topography that he was seeing in the Latin language. And so to be able to come to the place and read the language while we're connecting with the place at the same time makes the experience of the text all the more real, all the more meaningful, and all the more memorable.